Hello there, I'm Pete Turner and welcome to thedrinker.co.uk and in this series of films I'm reviewing some of the wines that I love from across all of the supermarkets in the winter Christmas 2020 going into 2021. All of the wines I'm reviewing will be up to £10 and uh, in this film we're looking at the wines available at Marks and Spencers. Uh, Marks and Spencer's done really good things with their more affordable wines in the last two or three years. In the last year they've uh, launched what's called their Classics range and the first four wines that we're going to review today all come from their Classics range. Um, Marks and Spencer's really know what they're doing, they've got a terrific team of wine buyers and they've done tremendous things to drive their prices down while retaining their quality. So first up we have couldn't be more classic. M&S Classics number one, uh, White Burgundy, Bourgogne Chardonnay. So it's White Burgundy, I think they used to call it White Burgundy, I think it's the same wine. And it is, it's that lovely um, lemon peach softness that you get, but there's also that lovely vanilla note to oak. A part of this wine was uh, matured in new oak. Um, and that really comes across. It's not un overbearing, um, but there is certainly a, a vanilla-y sort of coconut husk uh, element to the to the nose of the wine. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it's much more refreshing than I was expecting. It's lovely and open and expressive. Apple, there's some citrus in there. There's a little bit of that oak that's still there. It's a beautiful wine. It comes in at nine pounds a bottle and as classics as classic get, white burgundy is, is pretty much doing it. Nine pounds, that's a Christmas, almost a Christmas day wine, isn't it? It's, you know, who, who wouldn't want a glass of burgundy first thing on a Christmas morning? Next up, we have their classics number five. It's Chenin Blanc, and they used to sell this as Ken Forrester's Chenin Blanc, Workhorse Chenin Blanc. It's still called Workhorse, it's still made by Ken Forrester. It's got a nice rebrand, comes in at £8 a bottle and it's again a portion of the wine when it's made is, is, is matured in oak but the oak is much more subtle than the burgundy. There's much more lemon and lemongrass about it and it's fresh and expressive and there's a little hint of tropical fruit too, there. there's some melon there. That's a lovely, lovely wine. At £8, crikey, what a good little house wine. Uh, for the winter. There you go. So, staying classic and staying in South Africa, uh, this is a Pinotage. It's number 16, their uh, classic range number 16. It's Pinotage. It's a fair trade Pinotage, so what's not to like? The nose has got some real blueberry about it. It's really sort of lovely and expressive blueberry, but with a little hint of, I want to say, in a good way, some some tyre rubber, new tyres. It smells like a bike shop when you're buying new tyres in a bike shop. It's beautiful. Mm. There's some licorice and some wood smoke to it. It's expressive. It's eight pounds a bottle. It's it's fair trade. It's real quality all the way through. I think that's a smashing, smashing wine. It's not particularly alcoholic, I don't think. Comes in at 13.5%, so it's not it was not going to blow your head off. But super, super wine for the money. Again, so we had the Burgundy. What's more classic? Claret. Christmas Day Claret. So this is number 34, MS Classics, number 34, Claret. So it's going to be... Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, probably a bit, a bit of something else in there too, uh, comes in at seven pounds. I think that's been priced because M and S customers like claret, and I think they want to want to draw them in that way. the The nose is all sort of pencil box and graphite and 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 rare no black fruit. It's it's. I'm going to say black currant. No, it's not black. There's maybe black currant leaf in there. But it's intriguing and complex, and there's there's plenty to the nose here. Oh man, there's some quite big grippy tannins, but I like that, and it really supports that sort of expressive fruit. That's that's a well thought through, 
well made, well bought and very well priced wine at £7 a bottle. I, my heart sinks usually when I see claret, the word claret on a bottle of wine and I also, my heart sinks when I see Bordeaux, generally red Bordeaux, that's for anything less than sort of 12 or £13 pounds a bottle because there's so much really average stuff out there. And that is well more than seven pounds worth. That's a well thought through and a well made wine. I like that. Well done, Marks and Spencers. Super wine. Okay, so we are on to the rose. This is Le Dame en Rose. It's uh, from the Midi in France. It's a lovely looking bottle, isn't it? Isn't it? What an elegant, sexy looking bottle that is. Uh, this is only six pounds a bottle. That's what you should be paying for rosé. Do not, do not, do not, under any circumstances, pay more than £10 a bottle for rosé. If you do, you are a silly sausage. Stop it. So here we go. £6. Ah. It's red currants. It's raspberry. It's... It's beautiful. It bursts in the mouth with lovely... Acidity, it's got a little hint of cranberry to it. Christmas rose, cranberry juice. Oh, it's fresh and vibrant and lovely, and it's six pounds a bottle. Come on, what more do you want? Okay, so last up, we have Marks and Spencers. This is Cremant de Bordeaux. Yes, Bordeaux make white wine. Yes, Bordeaux make red wine. Yes, Bordeaux make rose. Yes, Bordeaux make sparkling rose. How about this? Sparkling rose. From Bordeaux, it's made in the traditional method, it's £9 a bottle. You're expecting with traditional method wine some sort of bready brioche kind of... And you are! You are getting that with this wine. It's beautiful jam and brioche and strawberries. It's not sweet in the slightest, but it does have a lovely sort of strawberry jam element that runs all the way through. It's like a lovely light dry strawberry sandwich. Is there such a thing? Well no there isn't but that's what that's like. It's beautiful. Nine pounds a bottle. Nine pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds. The whole lot here, I sound like a bloke on a market, the whole lot here you can get for 47 pounds. That's six cracking house wines to have in. There's something for everyone here at £47, Mrs. Sold to the lady at the back. 47 quid for six brilliant Marks and Spencer wines. Put Marks and Spencer wine on the table and people take notice. It's, it's a good label. It's something to look up to. 47 quid for six bottles of wine. Get on there. Also, get on to thedrinker.co.uk Click on the Marks and Spencers button and you'll see my reviews of all of the wine across all of their ranges. They do, oh, while we're here, their brilliant um, trifle cream liqueur. They do some terrific cream liqueurs and, and drinks around the edge. Um, so get on there, the drinker.co.uk, click on the Marks and Spencers button and you'll see all of my uh, reviews of all of their drinks. Um, I think you could do an awful lot worse than get down to Marks and Spencers. There are, there are lesser supermarkets where you would pay more for this quality. So, get yourself down to MS, have a lovely Christmas, stay safe now, cheers. <laughs>